Welcome to Highway Homestead. In tonight's video, if I have time, I'm going to be making a goat kid disbudding box. Uh, I'll go over the materials, how to do it, uh, where to get it, and uh, then later on I'll show you a video of us using it since we did just have our three uh, new does. So the biggest piece, I guess the most important piece, or the only piece that you probably can't supply yourself, is this. It's a uh, collar that I bought from Caprine Supply. I'll link that below. But what's really nice about it, it is cast aluminum collars. Their heads will go, the heads will go through that, and then the box will close down on top of it, and that restrains their head while you while you just bud them. But it was really nice, it came with instructions on how to build a box to do this. And for the most part, I'm going to be making it uh, verbatim, but I'll go over any tips or any issues that I run through. I'm up here at one of my many scrap wood piles. Uh, this one here in particular has most of my one buys, which is what uh, this kid box requires most of. Uh, one buys, I assume, it doesn't mean a true one by it'll be plain so more like three quarters of an inch thick but it'll be one by fives all the way through except for the sides which it calls for quarter inch uh, I probably don't have anything truly quarter inch to use so I might have to go a little thicker and adjust the dimensions to accommodate that. It called for a uh, 24 by 16 inch size I have by quarter inch. I have 7 16 inch uh, wall sheathing that I'll be using, and it's four foot wide, so now I'm going to chop line a six, uh, 16 inches off. Now I have most of my piece parts made. I have the uh, two ends, which I'll have to. Uh, Profile the collar opening on one of them. I have the top and the bottom. One of these will be hinged, uh, and then I have the two sides. It does call for a uh, belly block, but since I've deviated from uh, I've deviated from the spec, I'm not going to cut it until the end, so I have the exact size. What's that baby talking for, huh? Here I have the uh, sides erected using that uh, wall sheathing I was telling you about. I did have to make a modification to the end plates. I had to cut a quarter inch or a half inch off uh, further in order for this to sit flush here. So maybe you, you might have to cut a half inch off of the ends as well. Now I have the ends on. You can see that I took the jigsaw and cut that out. My little helper here, she's helping me Dad, put this together. <laughs> Say hi. Say hello. Say hello. And now you're going to be a wham wham. Anyway, so now I've got to put a lid on it with hinges and I'll put the collar on and then the belly block. So here is the mostly finished, I say mostly uh, finished because what's left are things that I may not actually do. Uh, well, the one big thing I will do is. Uh, the screws that was provided with the collar actually extended past the one buys, so I will go in there and trim that up. 
but it's getting dark and I have some other things to do now. So I'll have to trim that up. You can see I got the belly block in there and it did match their dimensions. And then uh, I did put a hinge on the back. See the hinge. This comes down nice and sits here. Uh, I saw one guy sit on it, so that's probably what I'll do as well. Uh, the other optional thing that I may do is add a latch to it. I may not, or a ha and a handle. Uh, both are of which not really necessary to have a functional disc budding box. But, uh, so that's it. Tell me what you think. Uh, hopefully this design works well. I will take a video of us using it here soon. Uh, we're we're going to try to do a how-to on disc budding, so uh, you might get to see it in action then. Okay guys, uh, we actually used this last night, and just to go over a few things that we learned. Uh, for our kinder goats, which is a smaller breed than I guess some of the larger dairy goats or meat goats, uh, this box is a little tall. The placement that they said for the uh, bar in the middle was a little, a little much, so I took that out and I made, I wanted to show you, I made a quick improvisation so that they could reach the, the collar slot. Uh, and all I did to help them stand and, and reach it better is I took a piece of two by and a piece of my one by that was the width of it. And uh, I just screwed it together and made a little uh, extension so that they have a different floor. So if you have smaller goats, you could stack one, two, three, two bys, and put something, uh, the width of that in there so that they can sit on so that their necks can reach this. And if you have the taller breeds, then this isn't an issue. And as far as the uh, little bar that they had shown here, I'm not sure really what the purpose of that is, and it, I don't think it made a difference. Uh, uh, but just be looking for our disbutting video coming soon. Thank you all for watching.